And I'm really delighted to welcome you all to our event on the humanitarian consequences of the conflict and intervention in Mali. Um, I'd like to extend a special welcome to our online audience. We are joined by more than 130 people online today, so a special welcome to them. You'll have a chance to feed into the discussion um, after our speakers have uh, made their contributions. Um, for those of you who are on Twitter, uh, we are live tweeting the event, and the hashtag is HPG Mali. Um, I've got two or three things, sort of housekeeping type announcements to make. The first, of, the first one is the, the event is on the record. So if you are speaking, please introduce yourself and uh, you know, remember that the event is recorded. Um, second, please switch your mobile off now because the you inevitably um, sort of um, interfere with our microphone system. And last, there is no fire drill planned. So if you mm -hmm. hear the fire alarm, that is a fire. So make your way through the doors by the ODI reception. So why the event today? Well, we thought we would get a few experts together, you know, to really reflect on a range of issues. You know, first, first of all, you know, to help us assess the humanitarian consequences of the conflict and the intervention, both in the country and in the region as a whole. But also to discuss some of the challenges you know, to the humanitarian response, you know, in particular the impact that the counter-terror legislation may have on the humanitarian response. And more broadly, you know, to al analyze the, the wider political context in which the crisis is, is inscribed. We're really fortunate to have a senior panel with us today, you know, very experienced colleagues, some of whom have just come back from Mali. So our colleagues will help us navigate you know, the complexity of the crisis and, and try and situate it in its wider temporal dimension. So not just since you know, the, the military coup last year, but in a wider time frame and also in the context of the region as a whole. But without further ado, let me introduce our first speaker. Um, we I'm really delighted to have David Gretzky with us. David was appointed as the UN Regional Humanitarian Coordinator for the Sahel in uh, April 2012 to oversee the response across the region. So that was really shortly after the military coup in Mali last March when the elected government was overthrown. Um, but before being appointed as the Regional Coordinator to Mali, David was uh, um, born in Southern Sudan, where among other things, he was uh, the Regional Coordinator for the UN peacekeeping mission between 2008 and 2011. David, it's a pleasure to have you with us. And I have to ask you to speak directly into the microphone. Okay. 